Oh, well, hi there. Once again, you're back here with old Barry, and I hope everybody's 2023 is off to a good start. Listen, uh, one of the things I want to bring up here is uh, I've made it mentioned in many, many past posts, and that is that everything is connected, and I never did believe in total Armageddon. I am definitely a realist, not an optimist, nor a pessimist. And by sitting back and doing the studies that we have done years in prior events, we found out, and I had made mention several times, that the only country I feel in the Caribbean that can be a competition to the Dominican Republic because of its size, its diversity, and its self-reliance would be Cuba. But that's decades away because Cuba is run by a totalitarian regime which obviously makes foreign investing very sketchy, very challenging, very scary. So they just released the most, uh, from one to 10 in the Caribbean, the most strongest economy and the economy that had the most visitors coming into it again, as far as stay over tourists and investing money. Sit back and watch a video that I think is very informative and it's rather easing because it confirms that there's nothing that replaces research, study, and an investment of time. We'll see you on the other side. A true paradise destination for travelers coming from all over the planet. The Caribbean countries are to no surprise, amongst the most visited countries in the world. People come here to enjoy the fantastic weather, the rich ocean life, the pristine beaches, the exotic flora and fauna, the tasty cuisine, and the amazing history and culture. The Caribbean region strongly relies on tourism for its economy. And while the pandemic has certainly hit the area very hard, reducing the numbers of visitors to these gorgeous countries to a great extent, most of them improved greatly in 2021 compared to 2020, with some destinations showing a difference of up to 200%. International tourism in the Caribbean reaches 65% of pre-pandemic levels by the end of 2022. All over the world, international tourism showed a remarkably robust performance in 2021 to 2022. Let's see what are the top 10 most visited Caribbean countries based on recently available data. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for our future videos. Number 10, St. Martin. With 248,852 total visitors in 2021, compared to 185,988 in terrible 2020, St. Martin has seen a 34% improvement. The tourism sector is very positive as the airport passenger arrival numbers in the first quarter of 2022 outperformed the numbers of 2021 by 209% already. These numbers, according to Mr. Roger Lawrence, Minister of Tourism, Economic Affairs and Transport and Telecommunications, are almost equal to those recorded yearly pre-pandemic. The return of St. Martin Carnival, as well as a considerable number of festivals and events, certainly contributed to the rising figures, while traditional highlights such as the sailing cruises and the rainforest adventures never stopped attracting international tourists. Number 9. Karakou, a favorite destination for travelers from the Netherlands and more in general from Europe. Karakou has seen a total of 190,000 visitors in 2022, in the period going from January to May. In 2021, the island registered a total of 265,000 visitors, a whopping 51.5% more than the 174,876 total visitors in 2020. Karakou is a paradise for scuba divers, with all of its dive sites that can be reached from shore. And it is famous for its orange-flavored liqueur, which goes by its same name, made with peels of the Lahara orange, endemic to the island. Karakou's colorful architecture and diverse heritage are also what contribute to making it very attractive to tourists worldwide. Number 8. Cuba 
The biggest island in the Caribbean used to be number two on the list up until the pandemic. For instance, Cuba saw 3.9 million arrivals in 2017, according to the World Tourism Organization, which accounted for 26 million arrivals in the region that year. Popular among European and Canadians, but clearly not a tourist destination for Americans, Cuba has seen some harsh challenges with COVID and travel restrictions. So it is now only in the eighth position with 1.39 million travelers in 2022, but only 356,470 in 2021. Against all odds, it had more visitors in 2020 when 1,085,920 foreign non-resident arrivals were accounted for. The country lost 67% of its tourists in 2021, but seems to be on track currently. Breathtaking colonial architecture, colorful vintage cars, mesmerizing ocean floor, and popular local dances still attract tons of tourists every year. Number seven, Turks and Caicos. The nation of Turks and Caicos only saw 164,539 visitors in 2020, but went up by 146% in 2021, when it reached 404,664 visitors throughout the year. Numbers for 2022 are only available up to the first quarter presently, and we can only count for up to 138,762, but we know it's only a partial result. Powdery white sand beaches, turquoise waters, a rich history, and the third largest coral barrier reef system in the world are among the main attractions for tourists to this beautiful country. The archipelago is the perfect exotic gateway for couples looking for a romantic vacation, but also for a fun family vacation. Number six, Aruba. Compared with the 368,322 visitors in 2020, Aruba saw an increase of 119% in 2021, when 806,555 travelers chose this gorgeous small island in the mid-south of the Caribbean Sea, a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands for their tropical escapade. Aruba means total relaxation, plenty of water sports activities, including diving and windsurfing, incredible wildlife encounters and unique landscapes. Just like Karakou, another constituent country of the Netherlands, its colonial era architecture stands out and makes the capital, Oranstad, extremely lively and colorful. Number five, United States Virgin Islands. The US Virgin Islands have historically always been one of the favorite tropical destinations for the majority of American citizens, a true US playground, but not only for them. The three islands have very different vibes and attract different types of tourists. That in 2021, where 824,460, a good 97% more than the 419,247 in 2020. In the first semester of 2022, a whopping 598,830 tourists visited the country. So another increase is expected by the end of the year. St. Thomas is best for upscale dining, glam shopping and nightclubs. St. John is more of a nature lover's paradise with hiking trails and its national park. While St. Croix is the largest of the three, has more to offer in terms of culture, food and the worldwide renowned Captain Morgan Rum. Number four, the Bahamas. With its laid back atmosphere, rich history and culture and unique spots, the 700 islands composing the nation of the Bahamas represent without any doubt one of the most visited countries in the Caribbean region. 882,141 visitors chose this gorgeous island chain for their 2021 vacations. 95% more than the 452,678 in 2020. Considering the first half of 2020 saw already 698,672 visitors, we can expect to pass the million by the end of the year. In 2017, the number of tourists in the Bahamas touched 1.5 million. 
the famous swimming pigs of the Exumas might be just calling you. Or you might be attracted by its world-class scuba diving and deep sea fishing, golf courses and legal gambling. Number three, Jamaica. Jamaica is one of the first places that comes to mind for international travelers looking for an exotic vacation in the Caribbean. The waterfalls, pristine wide beaches, and reggae music attract millions of visitors every year from the States, Canada, the UK, and Europe in general. While in 2017, 2.4 million travelers chose Jamaica for their holidays, in 2020, the numbers dropped to 880,404, but 2021 has seen a 67% increase with a total of 1,000,000 464,399 visitors. The uncountable natural attractions certainly explain why people choose the island of Bob Marley for their Caribbean getaway. Number two, Puerto Rico. While before the pandemic, Puerto Rico's numbers were similar to Cuba's, 3.9 million travelers in 2017, according to the World Tourism Organization survey. It has now taken a wider step towards the top and is today the second most visited country in the Caribbean region. The 798,842 visitors of 2020 left their place to a total of 1,664,866 in 2021, with a 109% increase. Puerto Rico is the Caribbean playground for American citizens, mostly due to its proximity to the mainland, its friendliness, and its inexpensiveness. Before we get to number one, if this presentation was of some value to you, we would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for our next video. Thank you. Number one, Dominican Republic. There is no denying of the Dominican Republic is the top country on our list. With 4,994,309 visitors in 2021, 108% more than in 2020, when only 2,405,315 were accounted for. The second largest country in the Caribbean is known for its palm tree-lined white sand beaches, its golf courses, its marine wildlife, and its upscale all-inclusive results. The Dominican Republic is also the most affordable destination in the Caribbean, and it was counting at about 6 million visitors a year before the pandemic. Falling in love with the Dominican Republic is absolutely unavoidable. There are plenty of outdoor adventure options, peaceful mangrove lagoons, a rich history and culture, with its colonial and Spanish heritage, and tasty cuisine. The genuine friendliness of the people from the Caribbean and the countless entertainment opportunities contribute as well to making the region the most visited by travellers. And we are sure to see the number spiking up even further in the coming years. Well, welcome back and uh, hope you got something out of it. Um, the DR also had the strongest by a wide margin economy also. and th But this is nothing new. It's been this way for multiple years running. Uh, quite probably because it's one of the largest, but it is one of the most affordable. It's one of the best bangs for your buck. And uh, look, like I keep saying, we're three years into this pandemic too. And just look at the economy differences. I'm not saying it's easy, but I am saying, and it's proving true, the question you want to answer, not will I be affected, but to what degree. I encourage my listeners to really consider those that have something parked aside to look at multiple countries. Also, I have described in previous videos about when you hold only paper currency, when a new currency takes over, they flush out the old paper by giving you a time stamp to get to the bank, 30, 60, 90 days to exchange the currency. Uh, of the old into the new, otherwise it becomes worthless. Uh, America, to date, is the only country that has never done that. Uh, however, I do strongly believe, uh, because of the dire straits, that's going to be uh, a first coming real soon. So I would consider strongly parking what is available, A, into different country, B, into intangible, because any tangible, whether it's silver, gold, land, any tangible, okay, does not face 
the exchange difference is holding paper currency. In other words, it's not going to be exchanged at, let's say, 1.5 of the old dollars will get you one new crypto dollar or one new digital dollar, whatever they come out with, okay? Because that we all don't know. We do know it's going in that direction because governments are broke. They squandered your money. There's no getting around it. It's the reason why there's so many different psyops going on right now and don't fall prey to it. If you have something, park it, you're not spending it, you're reallocating it. Cash in when everybody knows what's going on and what is going to replace various currencies wherever you're located because the dollar's not the only one to be concerned about. And that way you are saving the whack off at the knees and it's not 1.5 to 1, 1 1.65 to 1, it's whatever the value of the commodity is, is straight exchange into the new currency. Keep that in the back of your mind. If you think this doesn't make sense, I really encourage you to look at history because it'll prove my, my saying is 100% accurate hundreds of times over. Look at every other ancient coin and look what they did as far as stripping it of its gold and filling it with metal, stripping it of its silver, filling it with tin, on and on and on and on till people started hoarding the real, which in our case might be pre-65 because it's 90% silver, and look at what happened. Okay, it's just a great way to bypass getting cut off at the knees. You're not spending it, you're reallocating it. Glad I did our homework for my family on this uh, subject because it is imperative. Okay, we'll catch up with you on another video. Till next time, it's Old Barry. Bye.